7.45. I was going on before the show starts. So that was kind of weird in itself. I had no idea what to expect going on tour. I had no idea until I got on tour and started seeing certain things. And I'm just like, wait, why don't I have that? I didn't have a room. I was told I was going to be with her, but I didn't have a room. No room for me backstage at all. I was in her dressing room. I didn't have no writer. I was with her. And before I came on tour, I asked her, what were the things that I was going to have to pay for? Because this is so last minute. Like, you're only giving me one day to prepare. Like, it's July 30-something, and we going on tour August 1st. Like, girl, like, literally one day. So I'm just like, what do I have to pay for? Nothing. You're going to be with me. You're good. You're going to be with me. So I was like, okay, everything is handled. I'm just going to go. I'm going to make the best out of it. I'm going to make the absolute best out of it. I don't have no dances or nothing. I'm just going to go out there and do what I can do. You're in my stage with you and you feeling so entitled. Like you thinking that my, my, like my peoples that work for me is supposed to work for you too. Like that's so crazy to me. Like how I'm in the shower, you going, you going to barge in while I'm butt ass naked trying to press me about some bags that you got to carry some bags what like nah that's that shit bro but that's all i could do y'all all i could do is sigh about it because it's just like what can you do bro it's like damn crash outs and they going on rants bro crash outs and they going on rants but fuck it though at the end of the day it's whatever bro like this shit comes with it you know like Y'all see clearly this that this this will come with it, bro. Right? So fuck it. But the whole thing that's blowing me right now is like talking about some dark energy, trying to compare a tour bus to a slave ship. Like, what are you talking about right now? What? That is crazy to me, bro. That's so crazy to me. Like, you really gonna be friends with somebody for two years, but that's so crazy to me. Like, you really gonna be friends with somebody for two years, but the whole time you feel like they soulless and dark. Like, you sound dumb as hell, bitch. If anything, we both need saving. Like, what the fuck are you talking about, bro? Like, we was dead ass at the... We was at the movie theaters. We was siphon. Bitch, you not gonna tell the people how we was at an Italian restaurant and you ate so much fucking food, you fucking vacuum, that the server was like, where did the food go? Like, stop it right now. You talking about some, she ain't let me to the back of her room on her tour bus. She had this big ass room. Bitch, can I play with my pussy one time in my bed one time? Like, damn, you want to sleep in my bed every day? That's crazy to me. Anyways, yeah, I'm about to actually go to sleep for real this time. But I'm about to announce the, the Europe tour dates because for me, the shit, the shit go on. Hey, y'all. So I'm just now getting caught up on the whole Ice Spice and... Cleo Trappa situation and um, just wanted to get my two cents on it. I've heard other people's opinions on it. I've heard what Cleo, Pat, Cleo Trappa said and I've heard what Ice Spice has said. And this is my opinion on it and how I feel. So I feel that I can empathize with Cleo Trappa where she's coming from and how she felt some type of way because it's easy to feel that type to feel that type of way in a situation like that coming from somebody who's been in situations similar to that where I felt like my friend wasn't acting like my friend and they were acting funny and I felt like what's going on here so I get all of that from her point of view but from a business point of view I kind of understand where the Ice Spice side is coming from because when you're on tour, they give you, you have a certain amount of money, especially when you're with your, when you're on a label, they give you a, a budget and you have to, that budget is particular and it's just business. And that was the only thing, mixing business and pleasure is never really a good thing because of stuff like this, because it can be taken personally things a lot of things weren't communicated of course in my opinion 
that could have been communicated like for example she was talking about they went out to steak and they didn't invite her and you know she she wasn't in the budget according to you know i spice the side of the story and everything like that so making that make sense you know not to be upset but i at the same time i can see like if i if i if i was ice spice me me as a person if i was ice spice in that situation not understanding the business knowing that my uh my team has a budget and i have to stick with that budget and it's there the budget's not for my friend and i invited my friend i'm if i had money in my pocket i would help her any way i could on my own dime that's just me being me though everybody's different i would have at least communicated hey we're going out to steak but you know they said it was a secret and i guess i can get why because i heard i spice mentioned that they took her out to eat she was complaining cleopatra cleo trapper was complaining how they didn't take her out to eat but I Spice was saying that they took her out to eat at an Italian restaurant and she ate her mouth off. She ate her butt off. And maybe that affected how things went from there because the budget wasn't fit for her friend like they thought it would. I don't know. That's my opinion. It's when it comes to business and money, I think it can get kind of weird, especially when you're mixing your personal business, your personal friendships and businesses. I mean, your personal friendships into your business because it can get funny. And this is exactly why. You can't take everybody with you. I Spice, I Spice comes across to me as, one, as, as a people-pleasing type of person, almost like a passive. Like, Exoticals United mentioned that, and it kind of reminded me of, if she is like that, then I can see how this happened like this. Because... When you're not direct with people, people just assume things. And when it's not happening, it's like, whoa, whoa hold up. I'll take it from somebody who's passive her own self. I've seen this my own self. I've witnessed this. I've been, I've done, I've been on both sides of this situation. And it's just business at the end of the day. If she, if Cleo Trapper had a team and a manager, they should have accommodated her. She, she, if she talked to her team, if she only had a day to prepare, she should have talked to her team and let them know whatever. If she would have gotten a schedule of where they were going, she could have told the manager her team. I thought she was independent, but she has a team, so I'm, I'm confused on that part. But if she does have a team, a manager, she should have talked to them about what's, what's going on. And, you know, they said they did accommodate her, accommodate her in Louisiana or whatever. So that's good, but, you know... When you're working with your friends, it can just, it does, a lot of times it doesn't end very good. Especially when a situation like this is completely different because your friend is the spotlight and you're not in this particular moment. And I can see how Cleo Trapper could feel some type of way because I think she was famous, not famous before Ice Spice, but bigger before Ice Spice in her community in the Bronx or whatever, wherever they're from. I think. Because I remember Cleo Trappas mentioning how Ice Spice used to look up to her before she blew up. And then now Ice Spice is on top. <laughs> so it just gives a lot of resentment and a lot of hold up. I'm supposed to be the big one on here. What's going on here? But, you know, I understand how she could feel some type of way. I truly do. Because I I could just see it from her perspective. But at the same time, I can see it from Ice Spice's perspective situation it being a business it being about her label or paying for everything and not her but you know as a friend if she invited her knowing that her team has a budget she should have just went out of her own pocket or something or talked to her a little more about hey just to let you know that uh my team's not gonna be paying shit for you because the budget isn't in it but i still want you to come anyway because i want to put you on and be my friend and we would, I would have shared a plate or something. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, everybody's different. But I just wanted to get my two cents on this. Uh, what do you guys think about this sub situation? Let me know in the comments. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Add on. But, yeah, like I was saying, you really can't take everybody with you when you do make it. Because it's lonely. They say it's lonely at the top for a reason. And there's a whole bunch of reasons. And I Spice being an exotical, pretty, so she benefits from a whole bunch of privileges. And then on top of that, you made it before me. 
I can understand. I mean, I can see from an empathetic point of view, from empathizing with her, how she could feel some type of way easily. But to be bitter about it is where she's messing up at and putting it all online. Like, you don't have to do all of this. Calling the tour bus a slave ship is just kind of extra. And just, just being extra. And almost implying that uh, Ice Spice is acting superior and because I remember a lot of people saying that she's a colorist and all of this stuff. So it made me wonder if that was even necessary. I mean, even if she were to blow up herself, isn't she going to get on tour buses? I mean, are they still going to be slave ships then? Or is it just because it's Ice Spice's bus? I don't know. But yeah, this is an unfair, unfair world. Um, if she had a team, she, I mean, she, I mean... Why didn't her manager come with her come with her on the tour if she was invited? I mean, I understand they're not accommodated and everything. And she was just invited, but she should have known from being invited last minute how things might play out. Like, I know anytime I do something last minute, it's not going to end up going good because I forget something or, you know, my money ain't right or something. I'm not prepared. So... I understand how she felt like, damn, they, they couldn't even say nothing about going out to eat steak. I mean, as a friend, I would have been like, hey, we're going out to eat. I mean, I know we can't pay for anything for you, but I can share a plate or something because I invited you. That's just my heart talking because that's just how my heart works. I'm not going to invite my friend and then act, make them feel unwelcomed. Because I almost know too well how it feels to be invited to somewhere and not feel welcomed. I think that's the part I'm empathizing with Cleo Trapper on. It's the part that she didn't feel welcomed by her friend when she was invited by her friend. But when it's business, you have to kind of understand that part first, especially when you guys are friends and working together. You really got to think about business in this situation is not personal and um i mean and i feel like in cleo trappa's defense if i spice would have let her know ahead of time that they weren't going to accommodate her on anything not even food she kind of might have probably might have been more prepared as far as bringing some snacks or something on the road or something i don't know something to prepare herself for this um I don't know. It's very, it's one of those situations. I'm completely neutral on either side. I'm not picking a side. I'm just trying to look at everything, how, how she feels, how I Spice feel. I Spice ain't had no control according, apparent, what it sounds like, it, she, uh, I Spice doesn't have too much control because she's on a label. She's not her own boss. You say you're independent, Cleo Trappa. You say you're independent. So you have more of a say-so in your own career than I Spice does, if that's my understanding of how independent works. But then she says she has a team and a label and a manager, so I don't really understand it too much how that works. But I just know when you're independent, you don't have anybody telling you or controlling you and as strongly as somebody who does have a label. I know this because my boyfriend tells me this all the time. That's why he never took any deals because he wanted his own independence, his own freedom with his music and all of that stuff. You don't really have a lot of freedom as an artist, even though it may look like that. The perk of being on a label is the fame part, but everything else is kind of like a, you're not really in control. But that's my understanding of how it works. I could be wrong, but... You know, I feel like she, as an independent artist, she should have an understanding of how it works to be on a label because she's not on a label. At least that's what independent sounds like to me. And you're not on a label, but I don't know. It's kind of confusing. And then calling her friend demonic and dead looking was just doing too much. And but Ice Spice is supposed to be the colorist though. But you're gonna call her dead looking without makeup. Now, I don't want to recall Ice Spice making fun on your looks. So I was like, that was just unnecessary. 
I get you feel like she's being mean to you, and but if she's being mean to you, then why would you want to be anywhere near her? I don't care if she's famous or not. People, otherwise you look like a clout chaser if you don't really like her. If you think she's demonic, I would never be with somebody around somebody who I think is demonic at all. And another thing for Cleo Trap, but uh, if I if you're saying Ice Spice is demonic acting and she's boring, and I'm pretty sure you knew all of this before tour. Also, I'm pretty sure she hasn't changed that drastically. I mean, unless she just did, but I don't think she just changed that drastically. I'm pretty sure she's always kind of been the same. And you, I don't know if you just noticed it because you were on tour and you were so excited to be finally doing something that big. And then you, now you're seeing, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure I, I Spice, her personality has probably always been the same with you. I don't know if y'all just never worked together before like this either. I don't know what it is, but I'm pretty sure you've seen the signs of her personality before the tour started. I mean, about one thing about fame, they say it's like a drug. I mean, you'll do almost anything, almost tolerate anything for fame, for clout, for clout. And so even the unnecessariness to even post this is clout chasing to me because you don't have to put it out there like that. You just don't have to do that. I mean, as being an independent artist, some part of you has to have known that Ice Spice is in, in control of a lot of this, and yet you still felt the need to feel how you felt. Like, I would have took that into consideration when I'm with, if I was her, I would have been like, um, she's on a label, so I'm sure that it's not in the budget, but you got to know that type of information, I guess. But as an independent artist, I would think you would know that type of information. That's why you choose to be independent and not on a label. You were apparently on before Ice Spice. Apparently, Ice Spice was fangirling you before she blew up, and now she's acting funny, according to her. So... You, I mean, you didn't do what you had to do to get to her level. I mean, maybe it, I don't know, Ice Spice just has, mark, I mean, networking skills. I don't know. She knows how to market and network with the right people. And then also, she just, she has a universal look, so that also might play a part, and we all know that. And that's just part of the world being unfair. But when it if she didn't, uh, you know, I Spice said herself she was just trying to do you a favor and then bite you on tour with her, and she didn't have to do that. She didn't have to do that at all. But she's working. She's it's her tour, so she, you know what I'm saying. To give Ice Spice some credit, she didn't have to do that, friend or not. She's working. You know what I'm saying? When you're working, you kind of have to put personal aside. So, you have to consider some of this Cleo Trapper when, but she, I don't, I don't think she was thinking about any of that. Like, Ice Spice isn't really a control. Otherwise, but you, <laughs> but you saying her m personality is all of this and all of that. Well, you, I'm pretty sure, like I said, you've seen that before you went on tour with her. You should have considered all of that, but you was, I don't know if you were just trying to cloud chase and just, or what, because then when it didn't go your way, you went on the internet about it. Now you got all these people talking about you now, getting what you probably wanted, cloud, you know?